Hello everybody, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. Uh, today I'm going to be seasoning a new bacon press. Uh, so I'm going to take you along and you can follow the step by step how I do it. And uh, this is for all you who don't like to read instructions. You can just watch the video and see how it's done so you don't have to mess around reading instructions. Uh, I know a lot of you don't like to read instructions, uh, so that's why I make these videos. So, uh, I got this for my birthday. It's a new bacon press, so I'm going to get start right on started with it. And I'm going to take it over to the sink and give it a quick washing. And I'll be right back with you at the stove and we'll get started. Okay, I got the uh, <coughs> bacon press uh, washed. I washed it in a little bit of soap and water. Uh, now this will be the only time you'll ever use soap on it. Uh, you never want to use soap on a seasoned cast iron pan or, a, or like a bacon press uh, because soap will break down the seasoning a little bit. Um, some people use it. If you use it just a few drops, I guess it's okay, but be very sparing with it. Uh, some people don't use it um, because they say it, it can give you the taste of soap, so my recommendation is don't use it. But that's your choice. Um, so after I got it washed now with a little soap and water, uh, the first thing you want to do is um, you start warming your pan up. You can turn it on. You want to set your uh, burner to low, low heat. So I got her on low right now. And you want to pour some vegetable oil in the bottom of the pan, just enough to cover the bottom of the bacon press. Uh, don't need very much, it, just the bottom end, edge of the bacon press. So just a little bit to cover your pan here. Make sure you get it all around your pan on the bottom. You want a pan about the same size as your bacon press so you're not wasting oil um, because you otherwise you're just at wasting oil because it's too big. Uh, then you take your uh, bacon press. This is a Norpro bacon press and she's a beauty. I love it. I got it for my birthday. Uh, very nice, well made. Uh, take like a lint free rag and you want to rub um, vegetable oil on the bottom of the press. Make sure you get in all the grooves and everything. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to sit your bacon press in there <clears throat> and you're going to leave it heat for about 20 minutes. Uh, let's see here. And then you're going to take it out after 20 minutes and wipe off all the excess and let her cool down and uh, after you're finished with that, you can give it a, the whole top and bottom a light coating just as you would a normal cookware, uh, cast iron. Um, and that's about it. Um, after some time, some of the varnish or whatever they put on the handle might wear off. You could put some vegetable oil on that every time you um, clean up. We always want to put a nice coating on the whole thing after you're done. Um, you don't have to do the handle unless it's starting to come off and you can see some bare wood. But the rest of it, you always want to give a light coating after you're done. So after this comes up to heat, we'll leave this for 20 minutes. Uh, you might want to do this on the outside uh, burner on your grill outside because uh, it could possibly make some smoke in your house if you're worried about that. Uh, if you're doing it in your house, I'd recommend opening up your windows and maybe putting a fan in or if you have overhead venting, make sure that's on. Uh, so I'm going to let this get up to heat and then we're going to leave this for 20 minutes and then I'll be right back. Uh, 
Okay, about five minutes into the, after it started getting the oil a little bit warm, I uh, picked it up a little bit and uh, I seasoned the top of the um, bacon press also. Um, I just picked it up a little bit like this, got a little bit of oil and made sure to get some oil on all, all the top of the metal parts here. <coughs> just a very light coat. You don't want runs in it. Because uh, you want to keep that nice, but that will make it turn darker. And then uh, just put her back in there and leave her for 20 minutes. Or another 15 minutes on top of what it's already been. So 15, 20 minutes in that area. So I just wanted to make sure to show you that step there. Okay, it's uh, been 20 minutes now. And um, the seasoning is done, it's done seasoning, so now turn your heat off and let it just sit there and cool uh, until it's like uh, warm uh, to the touch. I don't know how long that's going to take, I'm guessing 15 minutes or so. And uh, then we'll pick her up and give her a wipe down and it'll be ready to go. So I'll be back when it's cooled down a little bit. Okay, it's cooled down a little bit now, uh, so now you just want to give it a good uh, wipe down and it'll be ready to use. I uh, can't wait to use it for making some bacon. Uh, it should make it a lot, of, <coughs> a lot less splattering around on the stove. Uh, that's what I'm hoping anyways. <coughs> it's good for uh, hamburgers, quesadillas, uh, grilled sandwiches. Uh, so I can't wait to do some experimenting with it. Um, but just give it a good wipe down and um, then just treat it as you normally would uh, your cast iron, any, other, other, any of your other cast iron and uh, the more you use it it'll turn darker and darker uh, and it'll eventually turn black and uh, look just like your cast iron so that's all there is to it so uh, one thing they do mention on the box on the instructions is make sure you don't use a, a pan with Teflon coating on it to do this because this cast iron uh, press can scratch it. Um, I kind of figured most of you probably don't have the Teflon coating pans anyways because that's why you're doing this. You got the cast iron pans to cook in. But if you do, if you were planning on using a Teflon coated pan, don't do that. It'll scratch it up. So... Can't wait to get using it. So I'll flip this camera around and then we'll end this video. Okay, that pretty much finishes up the show for today. Um, I do. I guess I'm guessing that there's a few of you out there wonder why I don't take the, the wood handle off and season it like a regular pan in the oven. Uh, the reason I'm not doing that, uh, I thought about it. But I'm not, I didn't do it because the instructions said not to. They said to do it this way, so I decided to go by the instructions. Uh, because I figured the instructions are wrote for a certain reason. And my guess is that when they put this handle on, they probably put some glue in the handle or on the, on the screw. Uh, or something like a Loctite or something to hold that in there. And uh, chances are that when you take that screw out, it might tear some of the wood out. And then you're not going to be able to retighten it. So that's... The way I'm doing, that's why I didn't take the screws out and I followed the instructions as they told. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it works out for you if you bought a bacon press and uh, hope everything is pretty uh, understandable. And uh, there will be a little bit of video at the after what I after this section right here if you want to watch it. It's just the bacon press in action, working, cooking some bacon. Uh, so. Feel free to watch that, and thank you for stopping by and visiting my channel. I hope I was helpful. Thanks, and have a wonderful day, everybody.
bacon. Woohoo! Yum yum. Oh yeah, that's what I call bacon. <laughs>